Okay, hello there, welcome back. And I hope that you enjoyed the last video and that you have successfully created an application. So what we're now going to do is we are going to go and create a test application and integrate our page. So let's go and do that now. Um, now, so what I'm going to call this is create a website test page one I'm going to put because I just practiced this before I did the video to make sure it all worked fine so I've already essentially created this now um, create a website test page one and I'm going to click agree okay so in other words what I'm telling you is that your application name isn't absolutely vital because that's not going to show anywhere that's just for your information okay and then we hit create app and that's giving me look at that how am I supposed to know what that says <laughs> These captures are crazy. Z B F I, I'm guessing. Let's see if that works. Honestly. <laughs> I do have issues with these captures. Alright, so we'll just um oh that happened quite quickly. Wonderful. So here we go. Create a website test page one. This is our app page. Okay? Now, we can do something quite funky with the icon and the logo here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go straight over to Facebook integration because I do want to get this page up live on our Facebook page. So head over here on the left hand side, guys, to Facebook integration. OK, and click on that. All right. So on this page, it's quite simple. What we want to fill in, we only want to fill in a couple of boxes, is go straight to the canvas URL. OK. So what is our Canvas URL? Well, if we come over here, this is actually a preview. Remember, we've only been previewing it, haven't we? So we do need to make sure that it is published. So you come over onto your page, which you left here, and make sure that this actually will say publish, not update, because I already published it when I was playing around with it. So this little blue box here will say publish. Um, and all you do is you click that publish button. Now, if you for any reason you've come out of your pages, all you do is you go here to the left under pages, click on pages, it's going to bring up a list of your pages. You go to your page that you've created and click edit. OK, um, and then once that page loads, then you will be able to click. If you make amendments to it, then you can click update or publish. All right, so we just click that button there. Now, look at what our URL is. This is our URL for the page. OK, that's the whole URL. We can either grab it from there or we can say view page and the page opens up for us. That's our page. And we want to grab the URL from here. OK, and then we just copy the URL and go back over to our Facebook page. OK, our Facebook integration page. And then we're going to paste that URL into Canvas URL here. And notice how we're leaving that forward slash in at the very end of the URL. We do want to make sure that that forward slash is in there. So that whole URL for that page has now been put in the Canvas URL section and we've left that little forward slash there. Then click on Auto Resize on here. I'm going to talk to you a bit about scroll bars in a bit, but just prepare and click Auto Resize. And then down here where it says Tab Name, you're going to want to call your tab something. So we're going to call it Welcome. It's our Welcome tab. And in the tab URL, we're once again going to paste exactly the same URL that's in the canvas URL. The only difference is we're going to take off this um, forward slash at the end. That's the only difference. So the URL is exactly the same other than down here, we take off the forward slash, whereas up here in canvas URL, we leave it in. And that's all we need to do. It's a URL auto resize, put in your tab name and then the URL again without that forward slash and that is all you need to do. And so at the bottom here we click on save changes. Okay, so that's going to save that and bring us to this page. Okay, so here is our application, create a website test page one. And what we want to do in this page here is head over to application profile page. OK, so go over to application profile page and click on application profile page. And that brings us to this page, which looks very much like our fan page, doesn't it? When we first create our fan page, 
this looks exactly like our fan page but this is actually just the back end of our application we don't want to be using this page for everything we want to go down here to add to my page so just like when you um, go and upload an app on Facebook and you go and add it to your page that's what we want to do we want to add it to our page so click add to my page that's going to bring up a list of pages okay and I want to add it to Joe's test page for the social networking Academy so I'm going to click on add to page okay and then that's going to disappear because I've added it to pay added it to the page all right so we do all we need to do now is close this down and then head over to our test page so I've got so many test pages it's crazy <laughs> and here it is it's this one okay so here we are in Joe's test page for the social networking Academy which I've actually just created I just decided let's start a test page and do all our testing on the same page now down here on the left you can see this little welcome tab okay so let's click on the welcome tab and let's have a drum roll and boom there's our page on Facebook okay now I did say about these scroll bars didn't I and I'm gonna go and show you in the next video how to get rid of those scroll bars but and also don't worry about this only you can see this guests to your page can't see this okay but there is your page where's our page there's our page okay and there it is on the site so that is how you integrate a Facebook page uh, a, a web page sorry a WordPress web page with your Facebook page that is it guys you've just done the hard work okay you have installed WordPress congratulate yourself by now by the way if you've just uploaded a page you've installed WordPress you've customized your page and you've now loaded it on Facebook how exciting is that so in the next video what we're going to do is we're now going to go and amend this page a little bit I'm going to show you how easy it is to update and amend the page um, and how quickly it'll update on Facebook and show you that plus I'm going to show you how to get rid of these scroll bars OK, and before we leave, I also want to show you how you can add Facebook comments to your page so you can actually have Facebook comments on your page. So a few videos to go yet um, for those of you who want to get even more advanced. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Congratulations on getting a page live. <laughs> OK, speak to you soon.